this and doing all that and ooh, and then everybody and then they put hashtag relationship goals. You don't know what's going on in their house. You don't know. He could be beaten. She could be cheating. They can both be cheating. You just never know. And so we're talking about relationship goals. So the Lord, he gave me the revelation that our relationship goals should be number one toward the love of our soul. And so once we have that together and down pat, then we'll be able to have our relationship goals and our cu and with couples, with our uh, our people. Okay, so relationship goals with the lover of my soul. said I cried unto the Lord with my voice and he heard me out of his holy hill see Lord, I cried unto the Lord in my distress oh, and he heard my cry so I want mates you want to be able to tell them where it hurts you know not so much you hurt me or this you hurt me or I was hurt when this happened or I was hurt to be able to communicate better and so if we're able to communicate in relationship this is relationship goal 101 if we're able to tell God what's going on even though we know he already know David knew the psalm writer knew that God already knew what was going on with him but it's something when you begin to open your mouth and begin to communicate and you begin to talk to the Lord and you begin to take it to the king and so God wants us to cry out unto him he wants us to hear his voice he wants to hear our voice and us to hear his and we, he wants us to tell him where it hurts can we do that sometimes we think that we can hide from God but you can't hide it you can't hide the pain you can't hide the disdain come on say times we hold things and it causes us to have heart issues it causes us to have sickness in our bodies it causes us to have pain it causes us to have headaches it causes us to have cancer in our body it causes us to have things going on with our stomach but when we begin to tell God where it hurts we then we're crying out unto the Lord the songwriter said I cried unto the Lord and he heard me We got to give him the pain. Now we told him it hurt. Now we got to give it to him. We have to forgive so that we can live. First Peter 5, 7 says this. Likewise, ye younger. I'm sorry. Casting all your care upon him for he cared for you. First Peter 5, 7. Look, we got things turn out. I pray, God, but I'm disappointed how things have turned out in my relationship. How things have turned out with my children. I'm disappointed with my health. I've done everything you told me to do. But God, it had come to pass. I'm not healed, and so I'm going to give it to you. I'm sorry, 1 Corinthians 6, 16 through 20. Y'all let me know when the eye comes up on the screen. There is more to sex than mere skin on skin. Mm -hmm. Sex is as much spiritual mystery as physical fact. As written in scripture, is up now? Yes. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Y'all so helpful. As written in scripture, the two become one. Since we want to become spiritually one with the master, we must not pursue the kind of sex that avoids commitment and intimacy, leaving us more lonely than ever. Wow. The kind of sex that can never become one. There is a sense in which sexual sins are different from all others. In sexual sin, we violate the sacredness of our own bodies. These bodies that were made for God-given and God-modeled love Amen. for becoming one with one another. Amen. Or didn't you realize that your body is a sacred place? Yeah. The place of the Holy Spirit? Amen. 
Don't you see that you can't live however you please? Squandering what God paid is such a high price for. The physical part of you is not some piece of property belonging to the spiritual part of you. So let people see God in and through your body. I mean, that's it enough right there. That's a message version. And a lot of times we our intimacy and what we have known it has been the carnal part and the carnality of the fleshly part of sex. Even in relationships, even with husbands and wives, there's not that level of intimacy uh, because you don't feel that love and that care. And so we end up just going through the motion with things. But God wants to even restore some of that tonight, even in some of your relationships. Amen. And he also wants to cleanse those that are not married, that have have given their bodies over to someone who's not their husband or not their wife. Okay. See, there's a space that only God can fill. Married or not married. And when we begin to try to put other things and other people in that space, that's where we begin to get hurt. That's where we begin to get disappointed. That's where we begin to miss God. Because we're putting somebody else in that place. But God says tonight to somebody, as you draw close to me, I'm going to draw close to you. That one-on-one -on -one time with him tonight. Invite him in. And the last thing we're going to do. Goals. What is the what is the F for? My God. You think that the devil just going to let you be you? Got an anointed relationship, loving God, doing great things together for the Lord. You think the devil going to just let you be? But if the son therefore make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Did we get it, Mother William? Is that the word? It says, if the son therefore shall make you free. Did we get it, Lady Claudia? That, 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 that we shall be free indeed. And I know, especially if you're in a place where you're not with one accord, or even if you are, y'all you are, both may be serving the Lord, but you may be trying to get on another plane and they don't want to go. Look, if you don't want to go, don't hinder me. You have to fight to stay free. Because what you got, the intimacy and the relationship that you got, you had to fight to get there. You had to give up some things. You had to give up some things in your life. You had to lay some things down to get in that close-knit relationship with you and Jesus. Now, that's the relationship goal I'm talking about. And not only that it says this, this is what it also, I, I got to read this too, and this is it. We, we about to praise our way out of here. Oh, it reads this, it says, and from the day, this is Matthew 11, 12, KJB. We love this. And from the days of John the Baptist uh -huh. until the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, uh -huh. and the violent take it back. Oh, 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 oh. So I got to go by myself. I love y'all. I love my family. But if God tells me to go and y'all like, well, I don't know. Let me check my schedule. I don't know. Let me see this and that. I got to go because I know that where the spirit of the Lord is, that there is liberty. So long. But God says that I have your 
your name on the lips of celebrities. I have your name in, a, on, in, in the heart and on the minds of lawmakers. And he says that for you to be steadfast and immovable, always about in the work of the Lord, that you know your labor is not in vain, and you're going to get a phone call. I don't know how or when, but it's going to be very strategic, and it too is going to change the course of your life and your life. Every thought, every care, every deed, when you lay your head on the pillow, and we even prophesy over your pillow, yes. that when you lay head, your head on your pillow, that you will rest, yes. that you will sleep, yes. that those voices from the grave are not speaking death yes. over you, yes. that they are not speaking to, uh, to the depths of your soul. Yes. So we decree and declare that the angels and the breath of God are going to be on your pillow when you lay your head to rest. And so the only voice liberation and freedom, hallelujah, sometimes you can't be yourself, but that's changing tonight. And God, and we, God said he don't care who likes it or who don't like it, but that changes tonight because you are fearful and wonderful man and who God's made you to be. See how these ladies are surrounding you? He had, he said, he had his angels surrounding you, and they still are surrounding you. Hallelujah. And so, what whom the sun set free, they're free indeed. Hallelujah. You think you've seen something, you haven't seen anything yet. God said that I'm about to blow your mind. He said that you just understand that I can still, I can do anything. Anything is possible. Anything is possible, and He anoints you. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel it, I feel it coming out of your stomach. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody's been having issues in the stomach. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come in the boson de 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 Lay hands on your stomach, those of you that there you go. In the name of Jesus, I up, 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 in the name of Jesus. Ooh. 